Hey guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where I teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now today I'm going to show you how to turn your phone into an x-ray device. First thing we need is a complete green screen on our phone and a camera to film ourselves. Then we take a shot where we move our phone in front of our face. Then we're going to look online for an image of a skull, preferably a high quality PNG file. And then we're going to dive into Premiere Pro. First, we're going to place our clip in the timeline and look for the ultra key effect in the effects panel. We then throw that on our clip and from the effects controls panel, we're going to select the green from the phone screen. Set the output to alpha channel and use the properties from the matte generation and matte cleanup to refine the mask selection. Of course, this is custom, so tweak this until it looks great for you. Once that's done, set the output back to composite. Then we're going to put our skull image underneath that layer and position that perfectly onto our head. You can always lower the opacity for a moment to get a better look. Once you've positioned it on the perfect spot, we're going to look for the invert effect and place that onto our skull image. We're then going to need a clean plate of our face to put underneath that skull layer. So how can we do that? Well, there are two ways. The first one is to look for a point where your phone isn't in front of your face and right click and then make a frame hold. You can then mask around your face so only your face is visible. But I prefer the second way, which we've actually used before in the character introduction freeze frame tutorial. So we head over to the program monitor and use the export frame button. If you don't see this, then click on the plus icon and drag it onto the program monitor. Once done, give it a proper name, make it a PNG and select the import into project checkbox. Then head over to the projects panel, right click on the PNG and select edit in Photoshop. Then in Photoshop, we can easily make a subject selection and that will give us a clean PNG of only our face. Okay, once that's done with either one of those methods, we're going to place that underneath our skull and we're going to apply the invert effect to that as well. Now this looks awesome, but I want to make it a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to select the skull layer and head over to the effects controls panel. And I'll lower the opacity to around 45 or 50%. And bam, that's it. If you want to make this even more advanced with more movement, for example, you can make the skull in 3D and track it but you will need After Effects for that. And where can you learn After Effects? Well, on Skillshare, of course. So use the first link in the description below to get two weeks of free access to our Skillshare classes and thousands of others as well. This will give you all the time to get the hang of Adobe After Effects. Or you can also just watch our 3D videos on Cinecom, but that's even more advanced. So I'll see you guys next week. And as always, stay creative.